Hey, I want to show you a birthday campaign and exactly how it works. So let's assume that we are doing a birthday, internal birthday campaign for a restaurant. And on the table, it says join our birthday club and just text the word red to the number that you see on the screen here. So they text in the number or the keyword red. And in just a moment, what's going to happen is this customer who's most likely a regular and active customer that just joined the club, they're going to get a text uh, on their cell phone and it will give them instruction on what to do next. So you see here it says, welcome to our VIP club. To ensure you get your free dinner on your birthday, just complete the form here. Text stop to quit. So they receive this text with the link and the offer is for whatever it is. So if you notice here, what we're doing is we're doing what we call a two-step, okay? So we're doing a two-step, which basically means we're not going to give you the gift, or whatever the gift is, until we capture all the desired information that we want. So in this case, I'm going to say that my birthday is on the 29th, and I'm going to say my anniversary is on June the 28th in this standpoint, this example here. So let's say it's on the 28th. So now I got all my info here. Our system creates these beautiful pages like you see. You can put any background, any any header, whatever you want there, any, any color, looks good. So also what happens is now we got a confirmation. It says, we got your submission, check your phone for details. Right, so you can again, you can make this page look as nice and pretty as you want. Um, this is really just a confirmation page. This is what our software contact reach does. So, what's just happened now is a customer has joined the birthday club, they got onto the list, and now they can unlock their offer, so to speak. So, the way that we usually do it is we'll go ahead and put um, the coupon inside of this immediate text after capturing all their info. It says, thanks, Jason, which you can personalize, of course, the names. Uh, we'll send you a free meal on your birthday. If today is your birthday, go here and show staff. So we found out that there's some people that join the list and today is their birthday. And if today's their birthday, it's not enough time to, for the system to send reminders um, to say, hey, you know, a little birdie told us that your special day is tomorrow or today. So we always put this here because this is another tracking mechanism to identify if it is people's birthday. And you're not going to game the system, so to speak. Like some people ask, well, will this cause individuals to, uh, to, to act like it's their birthday? Well, people don't do that. Like from, from a human standpoint, just people being real humans. Uh, they're not going to just game the system. And if they do, um, it, it's short-lived, right? So it's really not anything to worry about because what we often tell the businesses is just to check to make sure that it's their birthday and they'll show an ID, some form of identification. So let's assume that it is their birthday and it leads to a coupon. So this is the same type of coupon that would be sent in the reminders. Now, what these reminders mean is if the birthday, like we said in this case, was the 28th, then we can tell the system to send a reminder two days before their birthday on the 26th, uh, one day before their birthday, another text message and email can send on the 27th. And then we can say send the day of their birthday at 2 o'clock p.m. this birthday special coupon on the day of their birthday. So that's what I mean by sending reminders. So let's assume that it is their birthday and they click on the coupon and you see here, it says awesome, here's your free dinner coupon from Red River Cafe. Click the redeem button in front of the waitress to claim your free meal. Again, you have free creative range, creative control to, to make this as pretty as you like. Um, in this case, we just have it for a free dinner. But if you notice here, we can enter a subtotal. So let's say that this free dinner coupon actually ended up in being $70 worth of business overall even though the total value of this coupon or dinner may be, let's say, 15 bucks. But people rarely eat alone, they rarely celebrate alone, but this dinner caused them to spend over $70. Well, we wanna track that, right? We wanna track that. So let's say it's 70 bucks, we then click the button redeem coupon, it's gonna ask, are you sure? We're gonna say okay. 
and then it says coupon is successfully redeemed. So then it leads to the confirmation page. Thank you for visiting our restaurant. Enjoy your free meal. So you can use leverage this page to, to have them like uh, the business's Facebook page. You can leverage it to uh, maybe give them upsell of some type, depending on the niche, you know, lead to a gift card of some sort. You can do whatever you want. But what just happened here is a customer has joined the list. So now they're on a list to receive future promotions, VIP promotions via text message and email. Uh, they got a birthday coupon, which we can send reminders leading up to that birth date, that birth date. They actually redeemed the coupon. So now when we go in our back end of the system, we know that this birthday campaign had one redemption and it was $70. And we also know that the subscriber, which is me in this example, that I have redeemed one coupon and I've spent $70. So we can track the campaign return on investment on the campaign level and the individual customer level. And our software does all of this. And these campaigns are wonderful. And they're, they're great because it's passive, meaning you set this campaign up and all the reminders, all the follow-ups, everything just works automatically. The other great thing that you can do with this which lends way to an upsell service, is we have a new feature called conditional redemption. And what that means is once someone redeems this coupon, just like I ju just redeemed it, then we can tell the system to send a follow-up message. And in that follow-up message could be another coupon, or it could be a link to say, leave us some feedback to increase the reviews on Google or Yelp or Facebook. So we have the ability to, to, to track if the coupon has or has not been redeemed. And based on that redemption, redeemed or not redeemed, we can trigger message flows. It's really, really awesome. So that's a quick feature of how that works in a birthday campaign.